Did you know that you can edit videos in Canva? That's right! Canva isn't just for thumbnails and channel banners. If you want to know how to edit videos with this easy to use video editor, then you're in the right place. Plus, you're not going to want to miss the two things that I think Canva could add that would really make this a game changer for creators. The first thing you need to do is go to canva.com, click the video icon. There are a bunch of different sizes you can choose, but I'm going to choose the regular video size of 1920 by 1080 pixel. It's going to open up a blank video editor in the same size as my uploaded video. Upload the raw footage that you want to edit. Go to the Uploads tab. You will click Upload Media and then pull the file into here. You can also drag and drop your file onto the blank document. If you have trouble with your uploads, look at the question mark down on the right hand side and you can type in Upload MP4 into the search bar. You can see all of the upload formats and requirements that Canva has. Your file may simply be too big to upload. I have this video uploaded already that I'm going to use as today's sample. I actually filmed and edited this video myself in another video editor, but I want to make some adjustments and I'm going to do that in Canva. Once your video is uploaded, you can click on it to bring it to your document. Right click and set video as background. Your main viewing screen is your video. Down here is the play button and you can see the playhead right here. When you hover over the triangle part of the playhead, you'll get a tiny hand. You can left click and scrub through the video. When you hover over the front or back part of the clip, you'll see a double sided arrow and you can crop off the front of the video by dragging it to the right. If you scroll all the way to the end of the video, you can crop off the end by dragging it to the left. When you mouse click any part of the video, the playhead will snap to that part of the video. When you put the playhead in a specific spot, you can click S on your keyboard to split the video. In between the two clips, there is a plus sign. Clicking on that, you have the option to add a page or transition. Comment below if you want to know more about each transition. If you put the playhead a little later, you can actually delete an entire segment. When you right click, you can see all of the options. Basically what I'm doing is chopping it into more manageable pieces. I know I want to get rid of this, so I'm going to click delete. And I know I'm going to add a transition between every one, so I'm going to go ahead and here, plus add transition, and I'm going to add the match and move transition, and I'm just going to leave the duration the same. Apply to all the pages. I'm going to get rid of this one. I want to get rid of this. And I want to get rid of this. So now I've got four segments. So I basically chopped out a full minute. What I'm going to do now is check and make sure that my transitions are okay. So now I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Just a touch and see if that helps the transition. It's basically just little edits at a time and I'm continuing to make just small adjustments. There we go. And I need to bring this out a little bit. And now I'm done. So that was pretty quick, but I already had an idea of exactly what I was going to do. And now it's time to download. Share, download, MP4. I'm going to do all of the pages and click download. You can add text, you could add photos, and even b-roll. I actually just upload my own sound effects from YouTube Studio so that I avoid any potential 
copy, write, claim, or strike. Let's just show you what if I were to add this clown horn and you see I tapped it and it shows up here and here's where the audio file is. Just keep in mind you can also add multiple audio tracks. What are the two things that I would add to Canva to make the video editor much, much better? If you have internet connectivity issues like I do, uploading your raw footage into Canva is a struggle. If Canva had an offline function where you could continue to upload media while the connection was down, that would be fantastic. The other thing that would be beneficial is if there was a way to have multiple tracks, just like a traditional video editor. They have a way to add multiple audio tracks, but you can't really add multiple video tracks. And that's simply because I could add a grid right on top and put something and then I've got my audio there with a different video. But I think that if they had multiple tracks, it would be fantastic. If you're worried about copyright claims or strikes for your music, you're going to want to check out Creator Mix. It is a free service. I go more into that service during this video that you're going to want to check out right now. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you're subscribed, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye!